was the perfect night to host a wedding. Especially one with the attendance of gods. But, not all the gods were invited. Eris, goddess of chaos, was excluded from the party. They said she's too mischievous, even a liability. They all just wanted to have a good time. And if she was around, that would all be at risk. So, if it was chaos they thought she'd brought, then chaos she would supply. The golden apple, the innocent deliverer of Eris's chaotic intent. She inscribed the fruit with a tempting phrase, Kalisti, which means, to the fairest one, a Trojan horse of discord. These seeds of strife took root in the dwindling sobriety of celebratory excess. It wasn't long before it all bore fruit. The gleaming apple was set about its seductive work. Instantly, the gods realized they wanted it for their own. Each could lay claim to the vain title of fairest one. And each knew the others definitely didn't deserve it. None could unhook their claws from the pernicious contest before they finally turned elsewhere for judgment. Zeus, having some complicated relationship with each of them, promptly passed the buck to Paris of Troy. And so, chaos ensued. Throughout the ages, mankind would develop through discord. Progress and order always doomed to a fiery and ignoble end. Our hopes of higher selves held slaves to the rhythm of riots. She is chaos. She is the substance from which our artists and scientists build rhythms. She is the spirit with which our children and clowns laugh in happy anarchy. She is chaos. She is alive. And she tells you, you are free.